Example 9.3b wants us to again solve the system and here we have three equations. There are three different type of variable here x, y, and z. And what I want to notice is that not all of the equations have all three variables involved. And if you know what your immediate goal is, which step number one says your immediate goal needs to be to get down to just two equations with two variables, you should recognize that you're already halfway there. The second equation only has two variables in it. So when I start off my elimination, I'm not going to worry about pairing up the first and the second equation like I did on example uh, 9.3a. Instead, I'm just going to go straight to pairing up the first and the third equation. So x plus 3y plus 5z is equal to 20, and then 3x minus 2y plus 9z is equal to 36. So if I recognize that that second equation already only has two variables, y and z, then that means that I need to use this first and third equation to also only have y and z. So it automatically dictates what type of elimination you're trying to do. We're trying to get the x's to eliminate here. So we don't really have to make a choice if we recognize what's going on there with that uh, second equation. So I'm gonna take the top equation, number one, and I'm gonna multiply it by negative three. So this will get me negative three x minus nine y minus 15z all equal to negative 60. I'm not going to do anything with the third equation. And this will be the pair of equations that I'm going to add together vertically. The x's eliminate. The y's will become negative 11y minus 6z all equal to negative 24. So I'm going to use this equation we just came up with along with the y minus 4z equals negative 16. And I'm going to create a little system here with those. And this takes us into step two, where we want to now solve the two equation system. So you have a choice. You can do a substitution. You can do elimination again. Um, just think of it as if it was a brand new problem um, from section eight, because that's what it's supposed to look like, just using y's and z's instead of x's and y's. Um, but I see here that the, uh, the top equation looks like it's gonna be set up really nicely to do a substitution. And substitution is uh, my preferred way of doing uh, a solving if it's gonna be convenient. So in other words, convenient would be if there's no fractions that I have to create. So in this case, I can get away with no fractions if I just solve for y in the top equation. And then I will take my expression 4z minus 16, and I will substitute it in for the y. So we'll have negative 11 times 4z minus 16 minus 6z all equal to negative 24. Go through the distribution to get negative 44z plus 176 minus 6z all equal to negative 24. Combine the like terms. Gives us negative 50z plus 176 all equal to negative 24. Then I can start solving this uh, single equation with just z in it. I'll subtract 176 from both sides. We'll call that negative uh, 200, which is great because now when I divide by negative 50 on both sides, I'll get a nice integer value of 4. So z is 4, but I want to stay within the uh, two by two system that we have here 
and I'm going to take 4 and I'm going to substitute it back in for the uh, 4z minus 16 expression. So y is going to equal 4 times 4 minus 16. So y is going to be 16 minus 16. Oh, well, y is going to be 0. And there's nothing wrong with that because we're not dividing by 0. It's just 0. So that's our second value. And I'm going to take the first equation from the original system x plus 3y plus 5z equals 20. And I'm going to do the final back substitution step. Let x be equal to, sorry, not x, that's what I'm solving for. I need to let uh, z be equal to 4, y be equal to 0. And then my equation will say x plus 3 times 0 plus 5 times 4 needs to equal 20. So therefore x plus 20 needs to equal 20. And the only way that can happen is if x is 0. So that's all three variables assigned with the value. And the proposed solution in order would be 0, 0, 4. That's x, y, z. And then we would want to check. So I'm going to start my check over here on the right margin. Starting with number 1, x plus 3y plus 5z equals 20. So that'll be 0 plus 3 times 0 plus 5 times 4 should be 20. And yeah, we end up very quickly getting 20 equals 20. So that one checks out. Second equation, y minus 4z needs to equal negative 16. So that will be 0 minus 4 times 4. And yes, we get negative 16 equals negative 16. And the final check with 3x minus 2y plus 9z equal to 36. 3 times 0 minus 2 times 0 plus 9 times 4 and sure enough 36 equals 36 they all three check so therefore my solution is the order triple zero zero four and we'll box it in